Hey guys, welcome back to RC Legends and once again thank you for stopping by. So it's part two of a Kyosho Turbo Scorpion build from the Kyosho Legends series. What a build this was my friends. If you haven't seen the build video to get it to this stage, go check it out because honestly this thing is a peach to put together. Metal everywhere and it just, the design of it and that, it's just, it's class. Anyway, in this video we're going to get it finished. So... In the first video we did fit the motor, I've got a 21 um, turn brush motor in there, I've got the steering servo in there, so we've got to add the um, speedo and receiver, connect it all up, zero the servo, all that kind of stuff, but we'll kind of do that as a paint's drying. So what I'm going to do now is we'll go to the bench, we'll dig all the bodywork out and um, see what's involved. There's a lot of decaling on this I believe, um, but by the end of this video i'm finally going to see a turbo scorpion in the flesh finished never seen one and um i love it at this stage so this car can only get better so i'm quite excited so uh let's bat on right then so as you can see quite a lot to do still um now i'm going to build this completely as the kit tells you um a lot of people in I think the first video was saying paint the blue, don't just do the shell white and use the decals, do the blue. But um, yeah, no, I'm going to just do it as a kit and we'll do it in decals. I've got to be honest, I do kind of want to get another body set for this and do my own version of it. Because I've got an idea in mind for the car, which I think is going to look really cool. A much bigger wing, completely different colours, different wheels. But that's definitely for the future. So if I can get this looking, I, I know when you've... I, I believe these decals are very tricky because there's a lot of folds and cracks to get them in. So even if it's not that great at the end of it, it's not going to be too bad for me. Because I, as I say, I will be ordering another one. But... Um, Anyway, so that means I'm just going to do the full shell in white. I'm not even going to put any colour on the driver. There's some decals, so you'll have a white bodysuit on. There's decals that go around all the way through, or around the canopy to break the driver up. They're black, the seatbelt decals. There's also, the helmet's going to be yellow, but there's also a full visor decal to go on. So I'm just going to go the easy route on this one. I can always pull that that. Um, visor decal off and paint later if I don't like the look of it. Um, so that's going to be the first process is getting some, just basic Tamiya PS1 on the body. Um, and then, yeah, once we've got that, then we can build the wing assembly mount up, get the decals on the wing, get the wing fitted, and then while that's still while we're waiting for the paint to dry, we can get the side decals on. And we've also got to get a speedo and receiver in there and get it mechanically working for its running video. So, uh, yeah, a little bit, to, quite a bit to do, but um, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing how this looks at the end. Right, so just while I'm waiting for the shell to dry, I've just fitted all the electrics off camera. Very straightforward because a lot of space. I'm saying there's a lot of space, but because the body's painted, I'm hoping that nothing's going to impede. Obviously, the cockpit's here, um, and it's it's got a little bit of height to it, so I'm pretty certain that'll be okay. Oops. So, yeah, I've got a 21-turn brushed motor in there. Um, I like how the motor wires go right into the chassis down there. They're out of the way. I've just put a tyre up there, keep them out of the way, but, um, yeah, nothing in the way. Um, then I've used my uh, Tekken brush speed, unlimited speed controller, just because it's pretty small. Um, servo's connected up now, I've got the battery in there. Um, so, if I show you this very quickly, what it does. Turn the transmitter on, switch, which way? That way. Let it do its thing. So, throttle. And we've got reverse as well. So that's all straightforward enough. And if I move that back, you'll see the steering. I'll probably adjust that once the wheels are on because the wheels can. I've taken some trim off, but the wheels touch this. So I'll set that up once the wheels are on. But uh, yeah, that's ready to go. Cool. That went. That happened a little, a little bit quicker. 
than usual, which is excellent, just because there's quite a bit of room in there. Curious to see how it'll run with this motor. Anyway, I'll whiz the battery back out now, because that's that bit done. And then, what's the first bit? We may as well start with the wing mount. Right, next up is the wing arrangement. So I've dug all the bits out. I'm not going to paint the wing. It's got a really nice finish on it. Definitely what probably match the PS1, but um, yeah, not really bothered about that. Right, let's get that wing fitted. Right, that's the wing mount on. Very straightforward, and obviously that bottom plate covers your gearbox up. There's no adjustment with it, just a screw straight through. Um, let's dig the screws out and actually fit the wing before we put the decals on the wing. And that's what it looks like now. I've not, that's not the correct angle. That's, it's gonna sit like that, but um, there's two lock nuts to put in there. But um, yeah, I don't wanna stick it on, tighten it down and have a take it back off to put the decals on. So I'll dig the wing decals out and we'll get those on and then we can get the wing fitted in final position. Right, that's the wing on. Um, only thing I've changed, the main decal in the Kyosho Racing Team is box art, but I've changed the wing sides to the Kyosho. Um, I, just personal preference, nothing else. Well, that wing's in position now, it looks pretty cool. Um, so we're still waiting for the shell to dry, so there's decals that go on the chassis now. So we might as well have a play about with those and get those fitted. Right, so there's four decals in total that go on the side of the chassis. This is all one big piece, so when it's finished, I'm gonna have to get the craft, craft knife and cut round, because it, it's all decal, you get that horrible yellow looking color. Kasha decals are all pre-cut, and I'm not overly keen on that, to be honest. Don't like them. I like cutting my decals out myself. Um, anyhow, not to worry. Right, I think, what I'll just do is there's a couple of tyre decals just for the rears to match um, the fronts. Might as well stick those on and then we can stick the wheels on and then they're finished. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Um, as you can probably tell, I opted, they, they gave you four decals. Um, so I opted to put the both of them on the back. It's kind of a shame they didn't give you... Because obviously this one was printed, it's, it's kind of a shame they didn't give you an extra set, an extra pair, so you could double up on all tyres. Because it would have looked a lot better. Um, but I guess as a as a showpiece, um, they do look pretty cool actually, I quite like them. It looks actually very different now. I've had this built for a while and I've kind of been looking at it, but now the wings on and the decals on the sides and stuff. The car really does look a lot different, and uh, I'm liking it, but I can tell you up front, I'm not looking forward to doing the main decals on the body, just don't like, yeah, I think we're going to have issues, but um, anyway, let's uh, see if that paint's dry yet. Right, so it's still dry and needs to harden, but um, you get the gist of it. Protective films off. Um, forgot to show you earlier. I've done the helmet in yellow. Um, helmet is drying out. So yeah, what we're going to concentrate on is putting the decals on the um, cockpit area first of all, and we'll see. Might have to add some paint to the outside of it for detailing. No idea. But um, yeah, let's give it a try. Right, that's the cockpit done. And if you take anything from this video. Don't use the decals on the uh, cockpit, paint it yourself. Again, just my opinion. But um, yeah, not easy to get all those black decals in. I made a bit of a pig of it. Um, it's gonna be, it's fit for purpose for a shelf, you know. Well, it's not terrible, and once the cages around it and what have you. But um, yeah, if I was gonna do that again, definitely paint it. There's decals for everything apart from his gloves. You can even see there's some dials on the steering wheel. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm actually liking, I thought I'd put the visor decal on and I thought I wouldn't like it and I'd end up taking it off and painting his face. But um, I kind of like how that looks. That's kind of cool. Anyway, I'm glad that's over and I'm sure it's just about to get worse. So now it's the main decals, which when I say main decals, I'm talking about the blue decals. Yeah. This is not going to be fun. Anyway, here goes. Right, that's the stage we're up to. And oh my goodness, that's a mission. That really is a mission. Um, So I've done all the difficult decals. Just had to do it off camera because, um, yeah, that's a struggle. 
So you start off down at front with this one, um, which also bits that fall into these ducks or ducks. Um, and then there's ones that go around it, to small ones, you flatten them down and then it's a line there. So you basically just do this little front end. Then you've got this long one, which goes to about here, which has got some shape into it. Then there's little ones that go in there, where the spotlights are going. Then you've got to put this one on, which just wraps around to the back. Then you've got to put your air duct ones on. Um, and then obviously you've got to do about both sides. Far from perfect, but uh, it's going to have to do. And then when that's done, you've just got your main stripe all the way around. Um, yeah, I can't tell you how happy I am that that's done, because um, that was horrendous. Again, as I said, not perfect. Definitely one of the trickiest ones I've ever attempted. But um, yeah, I think once it's on car, it's going to look great, to be honest. But uh, it is what it is. Right, so I'll tell you what we're going off. If you've never seen Kayosho manual before, it's kind of uh, very similar to Tamiya. Just lift that up a little bit so you can see better. So yeah, so what I'll do now, and I'll just do it off camera because it's easier. We've got the numbers to put on. We've got those front decals to put on. So it's not a great deal, I don't think, but uh, yeah, let's get that bit finished. Right, that's pretty much a shell done. So number on the front, two decals at the side, decal there, and then the big one that goes round, um, and then the L uh, Le Mans one. So yeah, that's the shell finished. What I love, uh, well, there's a cage to do next, but uh, what I love about Kayosho is that was kind of the main sheet of decals, as you can see, all pretty much used, a couple sponsorship left over. You get all them, and then there's a second sheet where there's all them. <laughs> They're awesome for decals. There's also the spotlights and stuff to go on. So, now we're back onto the manual on the section 37, which is to build the actual cage unit. Right, so that's the cage built up pretty straightforward there's a little plastic bit here where it hooks onto the uh, roll bar I'm just looking at it I hope I've got that the correct way around um, yeah I think I have um, yeah spotlights there's no LEDs going in this one so it's just three pieces so you've got the plastic out and then you've got the mirror reflect a bit and then the glass just clips in so you can put LEDs in at a later date. So next thing to do now is two LEDs go to the top of the roof and the other pair go here. So uh, yeah, let's do that bit. Right, that's the spotlights on. That looks kind of cool. Um, so I said earlier, didn't I, about the spotlight decals? I, uh, you're probably gonna hate me for it, but I, I like them with the yellow decal covers on. Those ones, Turbo Scorpion. Kind of want them on, if I'm honest. Because I mean, we're not using LEDs at the moment, so uh, yeah, I think. Look, I'll tell you what, well, let's put one on, see what it looks like. So, rightly or wrongly, I've done that and I like it. I like it. I was going to go with four yellows, but when I saw these other, just a pair of TSs. So I could have gone full four yellow. Oh, but I thought I'd break it up because I think that looks kind of cool to be honest right um, now we've got there's a little cage that now goes on the roof which is that bit there right let's bang that on right didn't realize the um, the little bar is optional um, take the four bolts back out and then fit it um, looking at it don't like it don't need it on and it gives it it makes it a lot a bit higher as well which I'm not keen about may add it in the future but right now I was just looking at the actual box and it's not fitted on the the cover of the box either so uh, yeah I think at some point I might talk about this at the end but I think this might be cool the rails painted differently I don't know anyway um, right so looking at instructions if we're not fitting that then how does that fix to the shell? So yeah, now we've got to fit, fit it to the actual shell, which looks to be just in two pieces, I think. And that is fitted. So it, it's a bit wiggly wobbly because it's bolted down here. 
but as I say, when it goes on car, you've got your hull for your body mount, you've got the little bracket underneath there that clips onto the roll bar, and then the two rear sections just clip down onto the plastic um, roll uh, uh, motor protector cage, whatever it's called. Whew! I think that's it. I think I've just got to put it on the car now. God, that took some getting to to that stage. I've got to say, when I started those decals, I was I was worried. And again, I'm not saying they're perfect, for far from it. But um, that don't look bad at all. And I'm loving those spotlights as well. Uh, right, let's get it on the car. Boom. And you're just looking at it at the same time I'm looking at it. I've just clipped it on. And that, my friends, is the first Kyosho Turbo Scorpion I've ever seen in real life. And first impressions are, it's a big old lump of an RC car. It's, yeah, it's it's big looking, very big looking. I suppose it's because you've got this height here. But, um, what a thing. Yeah. Front suspension is just ass. Wow, what a thing! <laughs> yeah, I'm uh, I'm a fan of that, and I've got to be honest, spotlights, love them. I like the colour difference. If that makes sense, that's uh, that's incredible. So much going on with that body body set. Um, maybe that's just because obviously I've just spent two or three hours finishing it, I don't know. But um, even looking at it now, there's just so much going on with it. So as I said, um, there's two clips on this black rail that clips down to the metal bar, and then there's one in the middle that you just flick with your finger, connect at, and then the rears just fold onto that bar. So the shell itself, you know, it's got a hell of a thing. Okay, that wasn't supposed to happen, but you can see the suspension working. <laughs> That's awesome. That is seriously badass. What a thing. Even the driver unit looks pretty cock on, to be honest. Probably, probably just put some yellow um, gloves on the outside of it, I think, um, just to give it that little bit of detail. Oh, I'm loving it. I really am. It's, it's it's funny because I know I'm nerding out a little bit, but even though I've built all this, it's it's still the first time I've seen this car in real life. And um, that's quite a moment for me, I've got to be honest. That is a uh, very cool looking thing. Wowzers. Yeah, I'm looking forward to running this thing. And she's ready to run as well, so... Yeah, next next video with this car, um, we will. Um, I've missed some screws. I've just noticed there. Uh, I've missed some screws. I'll get those screws in now. And she's done. What a thing! Stick in the comments what you think. Did you enjoy the video build? I have. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, these Kayosho kits are something special. Build process wise, I'm talking about. Just uh, very, very cool indeed. What a thing. And I'm so relieved that I spent the time doing the electrics in it so I don't have to come back to it because obviously this is ready to run now. <sighs> I say it's ready to run. The only sticking point is I don't really want to run it with these wheels and tyres because they're more for the shelf, so when it's in the collection. So, um,. Yeah, I'll have to think of some wheels and tyres I can put on it, but I'm not going to look stupid. Um, but, you know, you know, kind of do the job. Problem is, I could give this a run around with these wheels and tyres, but I'll 100% need to glue them. And um, I don't like gluing tyres because sometimes it, you get that little bit extra residue that comes off and it just looks a pig. So, um, yeah, I don't know anyway. Um, I'm going to have a break now um, from our scene tomorrow. Um, for some reason after I've done builds I don't know I just I lose the interest a little bit which is a bit weird I guess but uh, yeah I have a day off and then I'm uh, raring to go again as it were very cool thing very very cool thing 
So my friends, stick in the comments what you thought. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Turn all those notifications on. That'd be absolutely awesome. And uh, you'll be notified of our two videos that we're pushing out on this channel every week. And uh, yeah, next time you see this car, it'll be um, out for a, a gentle run. But um, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. So as always, my friends, happy our seeing.